Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lunar Mining Facility. Lunar Mining Facility is the third of the space maps. It's big. Two, three, four, five, six, 62 territories. I'm in the panel from the sea playing as Magenta. Playing World on Progressive. Map Master Mondays are taking a look at every map in the game, one by one, putting them to tier lists for free for all. Progressive World Dom, and this is Lunar Mining Facility Auto 60, expert automated, no bots to start, and nothing fancy. No fog, blizzards, portals, lances. As I said, I'm playing in the penultimate seat as Magenta. So we have a bunch of bonuses in Lunar Mining Facility. We have a four for three drilling plant. We would say the noob corner is launch platforms. At four, as a space gate, laboratories, and living quarters. Headquarters in the middle is six, engineering bay seven, helium three, processing seven, and storage bay, communication bay, each worth plus five, if you can hold it. This is a big map. It really gets choked up with um, blizzards. I've never liked this map. For whatever reason, it doesn't really appeal to me. You thought it was the April Fool settings? Yes. <laughs> Let's see where we can find ourselves safe and sound. I think I might take a plus four in the middle. White didn't do anything impactful and I don't see red doing anything either. We might see blue try to pin that four. Just my opinion on psych, we use pharmacological solutions when they're unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not a doctor and I wouldn't try to become one. So I'm not talking about psychiatry, but psychological um, education would be very interesting to me. I much prefer the uh, holistic approach in general. All right, Blue is pooping out all of his troops. Pete, I was watching a video where you're like, I can't chat with you guys. 17 people is way too much. How are you able to deal with 200 people? Well, people don't chat all that, that fast. The game also doesn't take very much mental energy, right? Like, I haven't played, I haven't made a move yet. <laughs> I'm much more interested in making a show than I am winning this game of risk. I will win this game of risk if the luck goes my way. But most of the outcome isn't all that much up to me, right? I'm going to try and go for a bonus turn one. You know, as far as, um, you know, 200 people in chat, it's a blessing. I love talking to you guys. You guys keep me going, right? You make it very, very interesting to me. And we do take a bonus turn one. And I'm going to, I'm going to guard on a four. So guarding on a four here, there are three entries to this bonus. I'm taking a mid board plus four. Okay, so purple could break me up there, black could break me up there, or blue could break me on my four, but they it's a threat guard, right? How you doing, Jeremy? What's up, man? Probably more than half of the viewers who listen and enjoy watching have not commented. Oh, I, we, we got nothing but love for the lurkers. Absolutely nothing but love for the lurkers in this stream, right? You guys, please feel free to enjoy the show however you want, right? I am beyond blessed and grateful that people... Okay, wait, quit! Wait, got a bad roll and bitched out on turn two. Oh, baby. <laughs> Smell you later, white. <laughs> Tim Tam says I'm a part-time lurker, part-time commenter. There's no obligation. Please do whatever makes the most sense for you, right? Enjoy the show however you see fit i am i am so blessed that you would right that you would choose to um adam says hey man i've been binge watching you for a few months it's like your friend from far away thanks for the fun super interesting philosophical moments and the technical insights of the game a special thanks for the smoking cox tutorial that was epic <laughs> i'm glad it was useful for you sir <laughs> i'm lurking and listening wonderful Wonderful. Uh, Steve says, I've been looking, I've been looking for 45 minutes while I cook, cook dinner, but I'm always here. Love you, Steve. I love you all. 
that's it, right? I'm more and more coming to be aware of my job is being good company for you guys, right? I'm just hanging out together, having fun. I didn't say it was useful. <laughs> I said it was epic. Oh, or I didn't mean to put words. I didn't mean to put words or anything else in your mouth, sir. <laughs> Got him, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Is this the time in the show where I remind you to uh, subscribe to the Instagram? Is it even called subscribe on Insta? Drew keeps talking to me. He's like, Pete, we got to promote your Instagram. Okay, Drew, but I don't give a shit about Instagram. It's like, yeah, but we got to promote it. Like, okay. All right, so now we switch to somewhat guarding, somewhat multi-positional. We're going to make a three-position play. And then we're going to consolidate our four in the bottom with the three. Holding any sort of bonus is nice. Um, three positions is fine. It's prog. One, two, three. Who quit? White quit. Everyone else still playing, I assume. We lost Pablo. In the first seat, flying the, flag, flying the flag of UK is Pablo. Playing his white in the second seat, the Red Players General. Furu Tani, 22407 from USA in the third seat. Is Party Bart from the Netherlands. Playing his blue in the fifth seat is Clovis from France. Playing his black. I'm Magenta in position five. And Zuber from Poland in the ultimate seat. Micah says, I've uh, been spending the last month or so working on fixed cap caps tourney format and settings. Let's go. If you're still interested in vetting, reviewing, 100%. I would love to give you my advice, my thoughts, my comments, my criticisms, my encouragement, all of that, if you want it. What do you think about Jordan Peterson? I get asked this a lot. I'm generally favorable to JP. I think he is... Uh, Obviously, one of the most intelligent public intellectuals talking. I think people who criticize him not on that basis are clearly not as intelligent. Um, I think he fails to dumb down what he's saying such that it can be understood by a general audience. And then I think some of the stuff he does, um, particularly with Twitter, is very antithetical to his message and makes him look like he's pandering. Perhaps he is pandering or grifting, right? Perhaps he just said, fuck it, I want tens of millions of dollars, right? Um... It's like the people who complain about Elon Musk, right? It's like, complain about Elon Musk for in whatever way you want to complain about Elon Musk, but don't tell me Elon Musk is an idiot, right? If it makes, if it, makes it any more obvious that you're an idiot, it, it is when you say Elon Musk is an idiot, right? You might disagree with him. That's different. But to say that he's dumb, that one does not fucking fly with me. Okay, so Red wants a plus seven. Do I trust red with a plus seven? I think I'm fine. I think multi-positional is still the way to go. Argan says, I think he finds it hard to comprehend that lots of people gen genuinely don't understand what he's saying. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I think too, right? Jordan Peterson is so much more intelligent than the average person that he is unable or unwilling to dumb down what he is saying such that it is intelligible to the average layperson. Um, and that's too bad for him. <laughs> Tim Sam says, fairly uninformed about Jordan Peterson, but hasn't he contributed fairly negatively to the whole alpha male shit going on at the moment? Tim Tam, there are two ways you can approach understanding someone speaking publicly. One way is to listen to what people have to say about them, and the other way is to listen to what people have to say. If I am going to be vilified in public, because what I do is incredibly public, I would like to be vilified for what I have to say, not someone's opinion on what I have to say. And it's a good thing that I have thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of what I have to say available. Twitter is the opposite of his personality. It takes time to answer in interviews, and Twitter rewards the first to post. Yeah, Twitter is garbage. Twitter is just active garbage. That's why I kind of, I've avoided the platform completely. When he sticks to what he actually knows is very good, and then he suffers from the same problem as public thinkers, makes some poor judgments on things he isn't an expert on. Hmm. I've ever played D&D. &D. I like D&D, &D, but 
um, I I don't have like a play group. I got really into Hero Quest when I was a kid, so it's like kids D and D, right? Red is expanding. I'm starting to get a little nervous about that. Having plus seven is really powerful. I still have more troops than Red, but not for long. If I cut them down to size early, will that benefit my game? Will someone feed me the white kill? Everyone kind of has these pockets. The problem is, am I going to be natural enemies with Red? What do we do here? Okay, blue takes a second bonus. Well, that means I should take a second bonus, right? No, black breaks immediately. Black should break both. I'm fine to stay out of the way. Plus four is better than nothing. So Jordan Peterson isn't overly reductive of history as a way to further his flawed ideology, or is he based because he's a Canadian and it's simple as that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you play against me? Um, I'll do a viewer game after this. When you say someone is intelligent, what does that mean to you? What is my definition of intelligent? Logical ability? Primarily? Logical ability, I would say, is the... Is the root of, of intelligence. It's slightly different than wisdom, right? Wisdom involves memory. Wisdom involves experience. If you can quickly process, like processing ability, so numbers, right? You can be good with numbers. But it's not just numbers. Logic is like word philosophy. Okay. Red hitting me on that line I don't like. He's a three point. His one point facing me is the weakest. And then he stacks on it. Red retakes, or a blue rather. So Black's going to find himself in a single position very soon. Oof. Bad roll. I have been getting burned on two so much. Rumble says, Pete, not to get too personal, but I've been dealing with an injury that inhibits my mobility. I just wanted to say that your positive message and fun streams brightens my day. Your karaoke gives me strength to stand and turn the volume down. Thank you, sir. All joking set aside. Thanks for doing what you do. I love you too, Rumble. I know, I know that what I am doing is being appreciated. It is an honor. It is an honor to sit here with you guys. If I can add any value to your day, it is nothing short of that. I should be so lucky. All right. It looks like the white kill is on the table. I think we take it because otherwise someone else gets it. Can kill white if we're two cards. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, red sets. Did they say my karaoke is so bad it cures their disability? No, as he said, it gives him the strength to stand and turn down the volume, which I thought was much more clever than to say it cures his disability. And Huapa? Hmm.
Oh, I'm not going to stack on you, Red. You can expand as much as you want on the bottom of this map. I want that white kill. That's what I'm looking for now. Red greedy. Red been greedy this whole time. Okay. This is going to black. It's breaking purple as an ancillary to going to black. No, he's guarding on a two point. No, it's going to black. Okay. <laughs> he's trying to kill black on five cards. Oh, baby. All right. You're going to run out. You can't split that and get it. So you're feeding the black kill. Unfortunately, black sets before me. So this is blue failing a kill. Blue doesn't see that eight on the bottom of the map. He's going to have to win, sorry, nine. He's going to have to win a six V nine. <laughs> well, if you're going to manual, you better get going then, you dumbass. All right, that was an error and a half. Oopsie doopsie daisy. Uh-huh. Kill guards, black. Spice. Okay, black sets and retaliates on blue. I'm gonna kill white in the process. Thank you. That helps. Yeah, steal steal the blue bonus. Spicy. Okay, I just get the white kill here. And so I, I set and guarantee a set next turn. This is fine. And then I line up on black. All right, set kill white. Line up on black. Oh, that was not good. Should have put the three dudes in. We're gonna go slow. Yeah, this is progressive world dawn. We're going slow on purpose. I'm not trying to scare anybody. And I definitely move my stack away from red because I don't want to get it smoked. This is purple. Just retaking a bono. Okay. So we're on five cards. We have the 20. What are we listening to? This is the um, Midnight Album Nocturnal. This is the fourth track, River of Darkness. Did you guys did you guys like my definition of uh of uh intelligent? Do you agree, disagree? Smacks the eight. Red is trying his hardest not to instigate with me. Yeah, but he couldn't help it, right? He's too afraid. Oh, he just ah, red's a bonus taker. Interesting. That prevents me from getting the black kill, sir. Sure would be a shame if I were to ram troops into your ass for being a stupid idiot. Nah, you know what? We're going to play to win, folks. Let's not throw. Blue sets on three, takes the 20. He's killing purple. Blue is garbage. He's feeding me purple. Set, kill, purple, set. Let's go. Set, kill, purple, set, then what? Can I also get black? Man, green is a tool, or uh, blue is a tool. Okay. What the fuck? I know, this is dumb. It's a very bad play. Does it give black the opportunity to take the purple kill? Dude, blue is so bad. <laughs> you think logic's too limited? Non-human animals can be intelligent, but they don't use logic. Well, okay, fair enough. I mean, the, the way I took the definition of intelligent there was certainly not to include very many non-human animals. You know, and that might be, you know, an anthropocentric or whatever, but... He does get purple. 
Fail this. Don't see it. Revenge. Revenge on blue only. Don't see it. I need that kill. Don't see it. Stop. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. All right, fine. He does go for it. At least Black knows how to play. But now I kill Black. He think it, he's thinking it triggers a trade, but it doesn't. So I'll kill black on four and set again. Set, kill black. Set, kill black, set sort of thing. Go heads up. Sorry, Black. That war with blue really cost you, man. Okay, we break the red bonuses. We've set. How you doing, IDK? Let blue live. Thank you. You like the move? So if this is a dead topic, I just want to clarify what should be that it should be obvious for us to listen to what JP has to say. But what's more important is to be able to disagree with what he says sometimes, of course. Um, so that we're actually engaging with the ideas. Yeah, that should be obvious, but that doesn't seem to be what's occurring, right? What's occurring is an ideological divide between people who zealously disagree with whatever they, whatever effigy they believe Jordan Peterson represents and those people who actually listen to what he has to say and then those people on the other side who zealously defend horseshit that he has nothing to do with. Polarization, right? She's taking that 15 out of the corner. No, I like the 15 in the corner. I like the 15 in the corner. It makes me harder to kill. Just in case I miss a set on four. Intelligence is more balanced when you use logic versus emotional re reasoning. Oftentimes they're opposite but complementary for complete intelligence. Sure, I like that. Yeah, you have to have an, there is such a thing as emotional intelligence. Red's, or uh, blue rather sucks so bad, but I think red not having a set is fatal. How do I split this? Yeah, I think I win here. Oh, shit. I missed the kill. Fuck. That pathing got me. So uh, take note of this, folks. Right? These territories do not connect. I fucked up the pathing. Path okay. How do I not die because of that? We need to line a kill on blue now. Red quits. Thought I had him, didn't. Doesn't play. Okay, that's good enough. I did fuck up, so that was an error, right? That was a, a potentially fatal error. These two territories do not connect. I needed to line up a stack there. Okay, the bot sets. This is a bot now, right? He thought he was dying, so he rage closed. No, he's still playing? What do you do? Good for you to stay.
Kill guards blue. Kill guards blue. Okay. Uh, what do you say about the thought of emotion over logic is what leads to the death of nations? Emotion over logic is what leads to the death of nations. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. Are these guys going to let me hold the whole fucking board? Then it doesn't matter. Hey, cards are on my side, baby. Does red have the clock to get blue? No, he doesn't. Does he leave the kill guard? Do either of these guys set on three? There's a lot of possibilities here. Fucking lunar mining facility. <laughs> You're saying that when nations adopt a more emotional nature, it leads to their downfall where emotion is regarded higher than logic. Do you suppose, Johnny, that that has ever not been the case, though? Right? Don't nations appeal to very often the, the base instinct of their constituency? Okay, he's just going to let me kill blue. Ah, he's just going to let me kill blue. Fine. Kill blue, set kill. Kill blue, set kill, red, win. I win here. Easy win. Want to get to a Q&A question? Other than the, the JP thing, which I've now answered 17 fucking times. All right. Q&A question is... All right, let's, let's do focuses. Focus says, have you heard about the new plan to feed India and growing nations? I don't know why I'm fucking playing so clumsy. Scientists have developed a new nutrient supplement pills filled with protein and other vitamins necessary for a complete diet. They plan to feed the world with their pill meat strategy. It was, in fact, a pun. Good game, sir. It does not give me a good game back. What is the actual question? It better not be. It better not be about oiling up. You know what? Let's just do the tier list. Defeating one novice, three beginners, and an expert. Poor Black. Black just <laughs> came up across the wrong noob, and it cost him. So this is Lunar. Mining facility. So Lunar Mining Facility is the third of the space map packs. It is my least favorite of all. Um, I don't like it more than Canada Advance, more than Euroskull. No, none of that. Um, I don't like it more than Maul. Don't like it more than World Conquest. It's at the very bottom, I'd say, of the C tier. I do like it. There, there it is. I do like it more than Machu Picchu. <laughs> We're getting there, folks. We're running out of maps. We are soon going to reach the end of the series. I hope you've been enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed this video.
And I hope that the message I'm sending is very clear and it is one of love, right? I love you folks. And I want all people to realize that we are far more in common than we do. We have far more to bring us together than we do to bring us apart, right? I love you. Thank you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.